going on? Sitting here with Miss Mikey. Hello. Yoli, my man Mike Brown, Tanika. Um, and we are talking about how come women are focused on their career and they can't get into relationships because it's career only. Why can't women, why can't women multitask? Do you know what women do on this earth? Like yeah. we hold it down. Like we, you know, changing the baby, yeah. washing the clothes, cooking the dinner, mm -hmm. but you doing gotta get a man all of that do at all the same damn time. A, a lot of times girls can't pull themselves away from their career. You look at Oprah, she's built, she's built a million, billion dollar industry, a network, right? Yep. But she's like 60 and she hasn't had any kids. Her legacy stops at that point. Now you just gotta get married and have babies at like 60. I, I agree. I mean, we're definitely pushing the age limit as far as procreating, which is getting a little strange. That's scary. Yeah. But um, I think it's cool that women have those options now to kind of do their own thing and then settle down. But I think most women would like to have both. It's a combination of maybe not finding the right guy. Um, a lot of guys are uh, intimidated by a woman that's yeah. successful. Here we go. Uh, no, 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 it's no, no, no. true. Here I we go. Lot, no, 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 we're not intimidated no, by y'all. No, 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 no. Maybe not you no, all. No, no. The guys that are successful are not intimidated. It's the other ones that aren't, but they're mm. still on their grind. There are a lot that are very intimidated by like a woman that makes more money than them. Than them. Like, because it's kind of like they want to be the provider, but if they're a gal, I'm sorry for that, and I say gal. Yeah, girl. Yeah, gal. Yeah. Not too much, not too much, but no, but seriously, if your girl is like making more uh, bread, like it, it could be like a, y'all laughing at me, y'all, no, 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 I'll no, take no, you no, back no, a little bit too no, long. No, 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 no. I'll just make sure y'all have I love, I love, I love you, I love you, you my gal, you my gal. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, have you ever dealt with a girl who you wanted to pursue things with, but she was like, no, I can't, I'm focused on my career? Um, I know a lot of women who are very career oriented and that's cool. It doesn't, for me when I date, it doesn't come down to the career or how focused she is, it's the compatibility of it. So some women, I think, they're so focused on their career that they don't think about compatibility. Like, it doesn't matter what you do, it's who you're doing it with. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I get it. It doesn't matter what you do, who you do it with. Yeah. But Mike, in your case, you just started a new job. High profile job. Everyone who does that has become the person. How do you plan to do that? Because everybody, all eyes are on you and who you date. Um, if you start dating like Arsenio Hall, another A-list actor, <laughs> You <laughs> really went to our he studio. Went you had him in the back. Oh, yeah. You, you <laughs> put that out in the back of the... <laughs> I'm saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> Me personally, I don't put like a lot of my personal, like that is very sacred to me. A relationship is extremely sacred. I do not want anything to like take and come in between it. So I, I wouldn't even put that out there like that. If you happen to see me, red carpet or here or there, like that's one thing, but you'll never hear me have a full blown conversation about it because I don't, quite frankly, I don't believe it is anybody's business. Right, right. Don't worry about what I have going on. This is me. Like, and there may be come a time when I'm sitting on racks on racks on racks, racks on racks on racks, where I don't give a damn and I be like, yes, this is what it is. We're good. Like, but right now, like, it's, I'm just, I'm keeping it funky, y'all. Like, y'all ready to keep it funky? Yeah. Like, I'm being yeah. dead honest. So, like, so basically, what it means is that when we go on our first date, I'm not going to call a paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is.